How's it going guys? It's John. This is another uh, quick Lost Ark video, hopefully. Uh, talking about the Adventure Tome stuff in North Vern. We're talking about the collectibles here, where to farm all these collectibles for your Adventure Tome. We are not talking about Makoko seeds and all that. These particular collectibles. I don't know why they named them that, but they call them collectibles. Whatever. So, the best place you want to be farming your collectibles is over here in Fesnar Highland. I checked all the other zones. If you've seen my other videos, you know and you believe me that I checked every zone because I fucking checked every zone and I checked everywhere. Even fucking Vernice Forest, which is a nightmare to check. Don't go to Vernice Forest. Uh, it's not worth it. So for sure, you want to be farming in Fesnar Highland. So just real quick for the people that don't know if you've never done collectible farming. The number one thing you need to know about collectible farming is that collectibles can drop from any mob in the zone, in the whole region. It can drop from the regular normal mobs. It drops from the elite ones. They're called named mobs. They have the orange outline around them. Uh, anything. There's also usually a couple quests in the whole area that you'll get a couple, a handful of the uh, Adventure Tome collectibles. But generally speaking, you want to be killing the elites, the ones with the orange border, the named mobs, because they have a higher chance of dropping collectibles. So that's the strat. That's the meta that everybody does for farming collectibles. You want to be killing elites because they have a higher chance to drop. Um, you could also farm dungeons if you want to, but usually the drop rates are not that great because you usually have to get halfway through the dungeon just to get to a good place to farm. And it's usually not worth the time investment. So generally you want to be killing elites. And if you don't want to farm at all, if you're lazy or maybe you have a ton of money and you don't want to spend your time like this, you can always go over to the auction house, go over here to uh, Adventurer's Tome, and you can search for the individual stuff. You can't search by zone, I don't think. You can only search by rarity, so you will have to type in the specific stuff that you need. Um, as time goes on, the collectibles are getting way cheaper. Uh, so you will be able to easily buy most of these collectibles. Yeah, see, it's only like the super rare stuff. I think this is like from Tunica. Maybe not. Well, whatever. This stuff is... Uh, the price is going down a lot. It's also heavily farmed by bots and stuff like that. So that's a big reason why the prices are dropping like crazy. But just remember that you can always use the auction house in case you don't want to farm. Okay, so here's a map that I made for this zone. It's just a real jank map I did, marking all the locations of the elites. Uh, so I'm going to post this in the video. I'll put it in the description and then also in the comments so you can see this map. Um, there is a couple more elites, I believe, up here. But I didn't bother to look for them because it's a really contested area of people doing quests and whatnot there. Um, so here's all the spots. The major spot you want to be looking at is down here south of the TP. This spot, there's like four elites. This is probably the number one best spot in Fesnar. Because you can just walk back and forth and get all the elites in one cl uh, cluster and kill them. Uh, second best spots probably would be over here west of the TP. There's two elites right next to each other. You can literally just stand there. Uh, another thing you need to know for mobs... I assume this is the case with all mobs, but I know this is the case for elites. It's about 20 to 25 second respawn when you kill a mob, an elite or a normal mob or whatever. So you can kill these two and you literally just stand there and wait 20 to 25 seconds. They'll pop up again, you kill them again. Uh, so this is the number two best spot. Another number two best spot is over here. There's kind of like this destroyed battlefield. I'm going to show all these spots in the video so you can see what spots I'm talking about. There's two elites over here in the corner of this kind of destroyed battlefield. They're really close to each other. You can literally stand there and just AOE them and kill them. That's another number two spot. And then the third number two spot is over here, down here. Again, there's two elites that are super close to each other. Um, the problem with a lot of these spots is sometimes the bots will be chilling here. So hopefully in the future, if you're watching this, they killed the bots and you don't have to worry about them. I found the bots usually are always camped in this bottom one. Um, yeah, keep that in mind. The third best spot is probably down here in the Spirit Ruins. There's three elites. They're pretty close by. You still have to walk a little bit. You can come up here to the north and get that fourth one while you wait for the others to respawn. This is probably the third best spot. The other spots, they're kind of sporadically uh, placed around. Um, to keep in mind with these little pathways under here, you actually have to start like down here, for example, and jump across. There is no way to get down to these pathways unless you come over here or if you come over here. Same thing with this little pathway. It's like a cliffside pathway. In order to get onto this cliffside pathway, the only way is over here on this jumping point. You can jump across. There's an elite. Jump across again. There's two. And then the third one further down the way. So keep that in mind. If you want to go onto these cliff pathways, the only way to get onto them is over here. Okay. So here's the first place I was talking about where there's the two mobs. 
you can see there's two, and I'm pretty sure that's a bot. So this is the first spot over here west of the TP. If you just teleport in, we're going to head over to the best spot right now. Okay, so this spot right here, I believe this is like hands down the best spot just because you have four elites right here. I think this is the best spot in the zone. Um, the only problem is a lot of people come through here. A lot of traffic comes through here because of quests or bots or whatever. So they, people might pull the elite, so it's kind of annoying. But if there's nobody around, this is straight up like the best bot because there's four elites right there. Okay, so here's one of the third place spots I was telling you about. We got one elite here, here's the second elite, and here's the third elite. It's not too bad. You could just walk, you know. You could be uh, off your mount and you could pick them all up. And then while you're waiting for the respawn, which again, remember, it's like 20 seconds, you can come up here to the north and you can grab this guy. He's over by the tree. So you can kill him and then you can head back down. In a couple seconds, they should be back. You can start the cycle all over again. Here's the other spot I was talking about, the other second place spot. Look at we have some lovely bots just chilling here farming because they know this is a good spot. Like I said, in the future, if bots are annihilated, which who knows if they ever will be, this is a really good spot because there's two elites right here. Another good spot I didn't mention is north of that spot that we just came from. There's three elites here. You will have to mount up. That's why I didn't really say this is a great spot. Because the mobs are kind of far away. Yeah, see, that's pretty far. You would have to mount up uh, in order to pull them up. I mean, if the other spots are totally taken, then yeah, you know, you can come here. But I would not recommend this spot. Also, real quick, see this worked out perfectly. If you ever see these guys in the maps, either with the horned, uh, the horned icon, like a little devil icon or whatever, always kill them. These are the rare spawns. I mean, they're like rare elites or whatever. I don't know what the hell they're called exactly. Uh, but they are rare. They spawn like, I don't know, every 30 minutes or something. You should always kill them if you see them on the map because they have a higher chance of dropping uh, the collectibles just like, you know, regular elite. And lastly, this this is another second place spot. Um, you can get to it from either... You can get to it from coming up north over here. Or you can also get to it from jumping across here and coming up. There's like a log you can cross right here uh, to get to the other side. So yeah, this spot in particular, it has two elites. This is a second place spot, like I was saying. They're, look at they're literally right next to each other. Uh, and as long as you're patient with the 20, 25 second uh, respawn, you can literally just stand right here and farm. So this is definitely a second place spot just because of how damn close they are. And I don't really ever see bots here, so you shouldn't have a problem with bots. Uh, but definitely number one, this spot for sure. That's a definitely a number one spot just because there's four mobs. So you want to stick with that one if you can, but this is also another good spot. So yeah, that's it guys. That's it for the video. Um, like I said at the beginning of the video, I literally checked all the other zones. They're pretty shit. I would not recommend doing the dungeons. Um, I mean, if you really want to, you can do the dungeons. Uh, you have good mob density like around here in the middle of the dungeon. It's just these dungeons are really long and there's a lot of cutscenes. So that's why I would not suggest doing the dungeons. Uh, even if you're channels are super full of people farming these which i don't think that's gonna happen uh you're more likely to be fighting bots for farming spots um same thing with the second dungeon uh it's not really that great there's some mob density here and kind of in the middle but again you have to go so far into the dungeons just to get to the spot on the mobs it's almost not worth it um if your places are really congested and there's a ton of people you might have to go with these cliffside farming areas because people probably are not going to want to go to those places uh, this one in particular has two elites. You can just jump back and forth and kill them. I mean, that's this kind of bottom of the barrel spot. But hey, if all your other places are contested, you don't really have a choice. But um, yeah, that's it, guys. Like I said, I checked all the other zones, the uh, locations in this whole region. Beznar is really the best place. All the other zones, there is a couple other zones. Like Vernice, for example, does have elites, but they're so spread out. It's just, it's not worth your time. Um, so yeah, really stick to Feznar. Stick to the center area, stick this down, this bottom area, or come over here to this battlefield. There's like six or so here. But yeah, that's it, guys, with the video. Thanks for watching. Hopefully it helped you out, get all your collectibles, and I'll see you later. Bye.